Hi guys, welcome back to Below Par with myself, Jell Avery. So I must apologize for today's video. It is a little bit of a rushed one, but I wanted to show you a new order that I got from G4. So those of you who've been watching this channel for a little while will know that I've had G4 shoes on the channel now for quite some time. And something that I really like, I just find them exceptionally comfortable. The reason why the video is a little bit rushed today, I'm currently in the middle of moving house. Those of you that noticed the pictures on the wall now are gone. More things falling around me. And equally, I've got a little bit of a cold, so not the time really you want to be uh, moving house sort of with <laughs> things everywhere but i wanted to share with you this these shoes before i moved to show you what they're all about so let's get into the video i've got like a bit of a detailed analysis but just before we get in i'll just explain why i've gone for these shoes because i mean g4 don't pay me to use these i have to pay for them it's not there's no sort of discount or anything involved with this but one of the things i have found the previous pair i had were absolutely faultless for sort of 12 13 months absolutely faultless so much so I went, do you know what, I'm going to get another pair. I mean, just the daily comfort. I mean, I've had different pairs of trainers before that, you know, you start wearing them daily and actually they're not the most comfortable. You start getting achy feet with these. I be on my feet 10 hours a day and I don't get any discomfort, no pains. I know my sizing, I know I can wear them with a thick sock. Here we go then, guys. So I've got my two new pairs of MG4 Plus shoes. So I had, did have a grey pair. Those of you that have watched the channel before will know that I had that grey pair I wore pretty much every day. Honestly, they're some of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. So I decided to put an order in uh, for two more pairs. And here we go. So these are the ones that I'm wearing a lot at the moment. Excuse the mud and things on them. But these are my daily wearer. So I wasn't going to clean them up for the video because I want to show you how they look when they're a little bit dirty as well. I know, you know a lot of review videos are going to look like these where they're pretty much spotless. These haven't been worn very much yet. You can see just some light wearing, but really nothing crazy. But sometimes actually, it's quite nice to see them once they've kind of been worn a little, worn a little bit. So here's this one here. So I've got them in the black and obviously the light gray as well. Just thought it looked really smart when it comes to sort of maybe a bit more of a summer shoe, lighter trouser. And then if I'm wearing black, black trousers in winter, just thought these would look really, really smart. A little bit more universal as well with the black accents around the back. Love the little rubber sort of detailing here and then the white base and then the red and black sole that you can see there. I will give these a good scrub up. But what I do quite like with these and something that's kept me buying these over and over again, do you see the inserts they kind of have those uh, little moulds or little pimples. So those basically massage your feet while they walk along. On the first pair it took me a little bit of time to get used to but actually as I've got used to wearing these more and more I couldn't really imagine wearing a golf shoe without them. They're just so comfortable. Love the little white detailing here, G4 logo again, and the plus in there, obviously, for the plus four. So, really smart shoe in the black. And then also then got them a little bit cleaner, so those of you that are sort of wanting a cleaner shoe, you've got these. Love the yellow on the bottom, think they're really, really cool. Again, got the four and then the plus, like the way they've put that in the design, uh, and then the spikeless bit on the bottom. So just going a little bit about the shoe. So they're not leather, um, but they are like a technical upper that is waterproof. So. Never had a problem or anything with these leaking. You've got a really sturdy back here, so this really supports the shoe, stops it from twisting or anything at the back. That's really, really firm, as you can see, give it a good squeeze compared to that. There's a lot more give. So that kind of keeps the shoe really stable, keeps your foot stable while you're swinging it, which for me is really important. I quite like having that stability. And then looking down actually at the shoe from the top, I think it's a really good looking shoe. I know it's something obviously that you get used to, but I really like that. I just think that's it's really subtle. It kind of isn't screaming golf shoe, but also kind of isn't screaming just a trainer as well. Like people know their golf shoes, but then you could wear them out and about. I've done that before where I've, I've been going out for a meal or something after work and I've just worn them out and nobody's really looked twice. So as I was saying though, these are a completely waterproof golf shoe. So sort of labeled as having a premium waterproof upper. The insole also is washable. So if you're like me and wear your golf shoes a lot and they start to smell a bit, it's really nice just being able to pull the insole out and just throw it straight in the wash. But equally then if you wear your own insoles, so like I've got some insoles like these that had molded, so a little bit firmer um, and kind of got arches and supports and things, I can just slip them in there, which is really handy to be able to do that. But in terms of the soles, I mean, I haven't really had too much of an issue with slipping. So you can see they're pretty well kind of uh, created there but there's loads and loads of grip the one thing I would say is maybe this bit here isn't quite as grippy as what you'd like it I think they kind of wear out quite quick but actually the sort of outer sole is quite grippy I mean don't get me wrong I don't think you want to wear these on absolute soaking day although I did the other day in the black pair uh, and they didn't leak at all so I was impressed with that but 
yeah, I don't think you want to wear them when it's absolutely soaking muddy. I think at that point you would want something like a spikeless shoe. But honestly, I mean, considering these are, I think there's something like 159, 169, something like that. They're a really, really good shoe for the money. And the quality, honestly, I had a pair of these for I think just over 12 months and genuinely looked brand new. Like didn't have any holes or anything in them. Really sturdy, really stable. So definitely a shoe that I'd recommend. Let's say I've even gone and bought two new pairs for exactly that reason. They do also come with some different laces as well. I'm just in the middle of moving house as we speak, so unfortunately don't have those laces to hand, but uh, I do have some separate laces which they come with, which I might be able to find a picture. If I do find a picture, I'll put them on. For those of you that are a little bit intrigued about sizing, so I'm like a UK eight and a half, and I tend to wear these as a nine, but with a thick sock, I just find it suits me a little bit more in winter. So that's it then guys, that is my sort of semi-review or introduction to my MG, MG4 Plus shoes. So uh, I will do a proper full review on the foot sort of review at some point further down the line, but I just wanted to introduce you guys to these. Now again, you know, fantastic shoe. If there's something you're looking for, something spikeless that's ex extremely comfortable, doesn't necessarily have to be that lightweight, although these aren't actually that heavy, uh, then maybe this is a shoe that you should be looking at. Just think they're incredibly comfortable. And I mean, for 159, 169, yes, a little bit more on the expensive end, but they continue looking new for months and months and months. You know, I've had pairs of golf shoes that within three months look absolutely ruined. These aren't the case, even though the black one's a little bit dirty, I promise you I could scrub those up in two minutes and they would look absolutely brand new again. So yeah. Awesome shoes, excited to be back wearing two more pairs of these. They did send me some gloves as well. Unfortunately, I've already packed those away, but I'll definitely be doing a review on those in the near future. Guys, thanks so much for watching. See you all very soon.